Hello everyone, I'm Amor Central and that is Steve who's hiding away from the camera. Hiya. So, welcome to this video. We're currently at the South Yorkshire Transport Trust Open Day. It is the 3rd of October 2021 and after about 18 months due to the pandemic and things like that, there is finally an open day at this trust once again. The SYTT always has a place in my heart. This is one of my favourite um, events in the events calendar, primarily because I love South Yorkshire vehicles. I always love South Yorkshire PTE and um, was brought up um, when I was younger with sort of VHS tapes of the old South Yorkshire vehicles. So this event is usually one of the heart of the calendars, one of my favourite places on the events calendar and favourite places to visit as there's always so much to look at and this year is no exception. So this is the 2021 event. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look around, have a look around the site so you can see there's all sorts of American vehicles to original Sheffield transport buses over there as well. So we'll have a little look around, we'll have a look around the stall, see what's on offer. I'll show you a little bit of the programme and take a few trips out to the scenic locations and hopefully see a few familiar faces. So we'll head inside and I will show you a little bit more what's on offer today. So first off, it would be rude not to mention the bus that I was um, stood in front of, um, an American school bus. This is one like many American school buses that has been exported to the UK that is used for non-PSV, non-public service vehicle use. So it's had a little bit of the interior converted and it's part of the Yellow Bus Events team. So you can hire it out for private hire things um, and I believe um, it's one of the few that are around this area as I also understand that Sheffield University do also use one for their events. Alongside this though is 293, um, currently undergoing restoration as you can see. It's one of the large batches of vehicles that, that ended up with South Yorkshire PTE. Um, as you can see if we do look inside there's not much of an interior on this one as of yet but it is still a work in progress. So it's looking very nice, the fact that it's outside shows that it is certainly progressing and it does look nice in this sunlight. A lot of panel work has already taken place for this one, they've um, redone a lot of panels, so potentially very soon, as soon as the interior is sorted, this would look very, very nice repainted. So this is 658, some of you have been on the preservation scene for a while will recognise this. Steve, you may remember seeing this at a few events a few yeah. years ago running around. Mm, it's it definitely used to run around some places, it was actually in service as well, it was quite local around here. It used to be on the rally scene a few years ago, attended quite a lot of events, however over the past few years it spent a lot of time in storage, however hopefully it will be returning to the rally scene very soon. The local references as well with Mexborough and Swindon on the side, however next to it is something else, a bit more modern, but something that I do really like. I'm very very fond of these vehicles, however they are known to many people as the slugs. This is the one and only only um, Volvo B7 LA streetcar. Streetcar had a unique bodywork. They had these streetcars and um, they still run around um, sort of abroad. Um, they run around in Las Vegas, I believe. But in the UK, this is pretty much the last one now around as the final few examples have been scrapped. First bus bought a mass batch of these. First bus were the only operator that bought them in the UK in this stylish purple livery for use um, in Leeds on the number four in Leeds, for use in Swansea on the number four in Swansea, for use in York on guess what route, the number four. And then also had one for the Luton Airport shuttles. The Luton Airport shuttles passing to Go Ahead, who until recently operated the last example of these, um, although that one that I believe was 19031 has now since been taken for scrap. So these vehicles themselves had quite an interesting life and um, fitted with um, sort of underpowered engines and things that were doomed a little bit from the beginning. And um, they had electric sort of opening slide side doors, an electric ramp on them and computer screens inside telling all about the history of um, sort of the, the destinations and the places as well as other useful information. This one itself is 19000 that was used as you can tell with the Welsh on the side was used in Swansea and also has a liver seated interior. It's hoped at some point that this one will be returning to the road. There is a bit of work that does need to take place to it, but it will be very, very nice to see it, as unfortunately all the examples ended up with first Leeds for the Hyperlink 72 between Bradford and Leeds. It was a mix of the Leeds ones and a few of the York ones have all now been scrapped as well. So this is pretty much the last example of these that you will find. And although they are Marmite um, to many people, it would be nice, in my opinion at least, for this one to end up back on the road again seen as it is quite a unique vehicle now. 
So bender buses are rare um, in service in the UK generally now, not saying in preservation. So alongside the streetcar is this lovely bender bus as well, the DAB um, bender bus. Sheffield were the first operator of sort of SYT and were the first operator in the UK to purchase Bender buses properly. There was a few that operated on the airport services and um, sort of at places like Heathrow for example. However, these were left-hand drive, so these were sort of imported vehicles. So these were the first ones with the doors on the left-hand side. They purchased two separate batches, two separate types. However, these were the ones that lasted on the longest, um, finishing in service in the year 2000. 2013 um, was one of a couple of vehicles of this type that were coach seated. The difference between the coach seated bender buses and the non coach seated ones was the branding with this one, with these ones getting lovely fast line branding as well as the seat configuration with these having coach style seats and the door config where instead of having um, it just has two doors instead of having a third one that the non-coach seated examples used to have. So where this mainline name was, um, the non-coach seated examples had um, branding there. The ones that were just standard were branded for the Clipper. However, these ones were fast line ones up until around the time of mainline and then first bus where they all just became sort of standardly painted and all just went on to normal service work. They were last used on the Meadowhall shuttle service and before we being withdrawn around the year 2000 and then some were stored at Halifax and most were scrapped apart from this example and potentially another one overseas that have now been saved. So one of the relatively new additions to um, the SYTT collection is L4YTB, um, an old Yorkshire Terrier Dennis Dart vehicle. As you can see inside, um, it's come undergoing quite a lot of work. There's no seats on the inside. I mean, I'm not really showing that well um, with the what the camera's focusing in on. But it is undergoing quite a big restoration. It was due in 1993 and is one of the last surviving members of its batch. A very unique vehicle and these step entrance Dennis Starts are becoming rarer. So it is quite nice to see one of these in, in preservation and hopefully it will be nice to see it on the road in the Yorkshire Terrier, liv Yorkshire Terrier livery very soon. So to many of you this vehicle here is just a standard Royale bodied Volvo Olympian, a standard first bus one, but there is more to this than meets the eye. W437CWX was part of the last batch of, of Royale bodied Olympians for the UK market. I'm getting the number 34110, quite an unusual number for the Royals. And this bus never actually served with First West Yorkshire, but it did serve in West Yorkshire with Yorkshire Coastliner at that time, part of Blazefield, and was one of their last of um, sort of step entrance vehicles that they purchased. With its old number inside their 437, this vehicle used to operate sort of on the East Coast services to Whitby, to Scarborough, to Bridlington. And as you can see inside as well, the owner has got a um, applicable Yorkshire Coastliner variant of the model um, in there. I've also luckily found myself a model of one of them too. Um, that's the livery that it used to carry and that model actually reflects this exact vehicle. So the vehicle itself ran with the batch at Yorkshire Coastliner for a number of years and was then sold on to First Eastern Counties who alongside their mismatch of vehicles at the time put this into service for a number of years. This being one of the last withdrawn of the batch that they purchased. The vehicle is now at SYTT, it's been here for a few years, um, there's a lot of work that does need to be done to it but it would be nice to see it all done and it is very nice as well to see it inside the building now, hopefully um, with it being inside now it will get a bit more TLC. So it wouldn't be South Yorkshire without their very, very famous Dennis Dominators. South Yorkshire PTE were quite were a big, big operator to buy the Dominators. At one point, like the B90 or Geminis that run around Sheffield, the Dennis Dominators were their equivalent back in the day. All new to sort of SYT, South Yorkshire PTE. A few lasted on into the main line and then into the first bus era. Um, the last one sort of being, being repainted into Bible livery, making it into Bible livery that shows you how long they were surviving. There's quite a few examples of these um, in, this, um, in the Transport Trust um, collection. Um, we'll see them as I go around with the camera. Um, there's quite a lot of them and hopefully one by one they are slowly getting restored now and getting back on the road. 
One of them did attend the Olive Grove Open Day in August, back in the August. However, did have a little bit of a mechanical fault on the way back. So he's currently having a um, sort of an engine transplant, an engine transfer, in order to be able to run again. So it will be nice to see it back out on the road. Um, you can also find Dennis Dominators. There's two 2260 and 2214. 2214 be the Doncaster and Tramways Heritage liveried one are both over in Blackpool. So if you do ever go to events in Blackpool, there's a high chance they'll be running there. Alongside this in the sort of um, post mainline first style livery with the first group fleet number is this 754, this Daimler in the immaculate Sheffield transport livery. This vehicle itself has spent a lot of time at the Santoft Trolleybus Museum and has only recently moved over here um, for sort of a, a short term loan in order to have some work done to it um, while spacing changes occur at the Trolleybus Museum. There is also an open day occurring there on the 17th of October that will be the Isle of Axon running day. So there will be a few vehicles like this one running around there alongside the trolleybuses. So there's a few different display areas of buses today. This is the display area for buses that are running. So there is a variety of vehicles here. Not all of them are here as obviously a few have already gone outside um, and sort of gone out to run. But there's a lovely Black Prince Ailes, a 377, one of my favourite vehicles of all time. And then you go down even to more modern vehicles like this Wu War 2 registered um, ALX 400 2717 in a what could have been a mainline variant of the livery. This bus was delivered in Barbie, it never actually operated in mainline, but it, I must admit it really does suit this livery. The bus only went into preservation um, within sort of the past year and has had a lot of work done to it since. Um, previously numbered 30577, um, it's probably one of the best sounding B70 ALX 400 I've ever been on. So we'll hopefully try and get a run on it later on. So new for this year has been the introduction of a new static display site. Um, that is using the car park of an industrial unit. Looks quite nice as you can see the light is perfect for vehicles like this 1696 that looks immaculate in the brown and cream South Yorkshire Transport SYT livery. Alongside this is more modern vehicles as well. There is a lovely Mercedes Sprint from Yorkshire Rose that's very nice. As you can hear there is a bus down here with its engine on that's just arrived. Um, another vehicle in the mainline livery. I must admit something that is so nice is the mainline and SYT liveries. They were always so striking, so prominent um, and so unique to South Yorkshire. Alongside this, um, Hullies of Baslow are here and Hullies of Baslow have started introducing branded liveries. This one, MX09 AOF, um, numbered Hullies 9, is in their new 110 and 111 um, or 111 um, branded livery for services between Ashbourne and Matlock. So there's also newer vehicles, X Ipswich buses and Yorkshire Traction P915RYO. That is a Volvo Olympian Northern Counties bodied Palatine vehicle. Jews Bus Museum are also here with their lovely Leyland Panther. Very, very nice bus. Um, also to note as well that their open day is on is coming up on the 14th of November um, this year. So make sure you are there. That will be at the Ravensthorpe site with three regular buses from South Street that's just outside the bus station in Dewsborough. And then it shares alongside this a few Doncaster vehicles. Um, so Doncaster 33 as well that has come from Santoft. 
So there's a nice array of vehicles as we make our way down alongside these older examples um, and unique coaches and things. There's also a, new, a few new buses. Um, First South Yorkshire themselves have introduced a fair few new recently um, sort of heritage deliveries and as well as their own new brands that have featured in previous YouTube videos. So this itself, 1756, is what the Eclipse just down there has been inspired on. And this one is based at the South Yorkshire Transport Museum and it's quite an unusual one to see out and about. So it was very, very nice to see it come round the corner. Alongside it though, in a sort of tribute livery to the old Doncaster Corporation style, is 37237, the newest and latest addition to the Doncaster Reds repaint scheme. This one carries the Mallard branding on the side, Mallard 4468 being built at Doncaster Works, um, the famous Doncaster Rail Works. And it features the lovely two-tone red livery that has become the standard fleet livery um, for the Doncaster fleet, with Sheffield having blue. So these primarily operate now on the X78, however are going to be replaced in due course by specific X78 branded buses in the future, all being well. So now numbered 1529 in the SYT Heritage livery is B9TL 37529 carrying some very unique blue seating. This is one of two new vehicles launched at the Olive Grove Open Day in the new Heritage liveries. This carrying the very, very stylish um, red, brown and cream South Yorkshire's Transport SYT red livery. This followed on from the brown and cream livery and came just before the mainline livery um, and was incredibly stylish at the time. And I must say it does suit the B90L pretty well. So alongside this as well there goes 1790 also in the SYT livery and timed that very well. Alongside that is the other heritage livery that has just been launched that is the B7R Lee mainline um, livery that is on 69527. The bus itself is branded in a heritage style for route number 8 that is a cross city route between Ecclesfield and Crystal Peaks. The brand itself, the number 8 route, wasn't around in the same way it is at the time um, back in the day when mainline was around. However, the branding has been applied in that style and the bus does tend to learn on the 8 and 8A services to reflect this. It's also had an interior refurbishment as well and um, being fitted with the new stylish um, of, of standard um, First South Yorkshire and Midlands maquette inside and it's hoped that the other ex Greater Manchester B7R leads that they gained um, in the last year or so can also receive a similar treatment. Again it must be said that the bus does suit the mainline livery and is certainly in the style of a what if um, if for whatever reason the mainline brand did carry on and um, that would have been quite nice to see and especially especially saying that it does suit it and something before I do forget as well to mention is these stickers here original SYT mainline style stickers that have been applied between the glazing on the vehicles this and the B90L to add a little extra reflect of um, realism and accuracy that I must say does look very nice So we've just had a run on the SPR5, um, the brand new addition to the Hollis fleet, one of two that is arriving on a little site shuttle run. A very nice bus. So we're going to take a nice trip and round to Rotherham on X Black Prince and X SYT Volvo Wales at 377. 
quite a unique type of vehicle um, in sort of engined at the front. Um, they are quite rare to find in a preservation scene, especially rare on sort of free bus services. This one was off the road for a number of years and is still in the livery that it carried when it was withdrawn with black print, celebrating their anniversary in 1994. So when they say mystery tour, they do mean it. We have lovely blind on this bus. Terminus um, Galaxy for far, far away via anywhere, pretty much. So the two vehicles ran the mystery tour today, just one um, running today, um, with this lovely B10 coach, S659 GSE, um, one of my personal favourites. For those of you who went to Shorebush, you'll have noticed I um, was lucky enough to check to Shorebus um, to and fro there on this. And then behind it is Holly's new edition. We've been on it already, but we're going to take a bit of a longer run on it. Um, their new SP05. that was the 2021 South Yorkshire Transport Trust SYTT open day and running day. It's a shame it's over. It, as, as, as I said at the beginning of the video, it is one of my all-time favourite events in the calendar. It's always nice to celebrate all the liveries of South Yorkshire as well as other visiting vehicles and this year was no exception. It was brilliant to be back at the event. It was brilliant to see all the familiar faces and recognise a few of you from the YouTube channel who, once again, as usual, came up and said hello. It was always brilliant to speak to you all and, and hear your suggestions and ideas for the channel. So do hope you've all enjoyed this video um, and hope you look forward to other videos like this as I'm attending a few more events in the weeks to come. So hopefully we'll be able to document and film them as well. Be sure if you haven't already to click the like button on this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe for more like this. And be sure to check out the SYTT South Yorkshire Transport Trust website and Facebook pages for more details on when they're doing future events as well as details on their preservation projects. The links for these will be in the description below. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.